Hey, what's going on guys back with a brand new video so in this video I'm gonna be telling you how to fix DirectX not installed in your PC error in uh, in your Windows so if you happen to using uh, Windows 7 Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 this error might come to your PC and it's actually very annoying like you can like uh, use softwares properly if you don't have the software this is actually very important and not to be like forgotten about so <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you how to fix it so first off just go to your uh, Google Chrome just type in Microsoft Microsoft Download Center and once you click on it by the way I'm gonna be uh, putting the links in the description so you guys can easily download without any problem by just clicking one link so if you're doing this right now or depending on the time you're watching this video uh, there is a uh, there is a thing on the front page called DirectX and user runtime web installer so this is on the front page but if you can find it for some reason just type in here DirectX DirectX um, hold on and user runtime web installer so once you um, do this this these things will appear as you can see right here so just click on the download download button and uh, once you have done that just click download and it will download automatically and as you can see I have the download section right here so I'm gonna be telling you how to install it so I, I got the Microsoft DirectX and I'm gonna click yes so just click on ISFD agreement and then uh, just uncheck this because it's gonna it's gonna install Bing bar automatically and you don't want it because it's actually very annoying so once you have done that just uh, click install and it will be installed completely without any problem and you won't run into any more errors in your windows and yeah that is how you do it and hopefully you guys like this video and if you want to know how to check your uh, how to check if the DirectX downloaded it or not so just click on this DXDIAG and click OK once you click OK there is a thing is going to be popping up as you can see DirectX diagnostic tool so I have it so as you can see DirectX version I have it in the ready ready bottom DirectX 12 which means that I have it the latest version of DirectX 12 DirectX so this means I have a DirectX on my PC or maybe if you have a DirectX and it's um, like old version so it won't work for you and it's gonna still gonna show you some errors so yeah that is how you do it hopefully you liked it and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video hopefully yeah, bye-bye.